Hello and welcome to issue number 55 of Headline Heroes, a comedy podcast where we take today's headlines and create a comic book origin story. My name is Drew Mick. I'm Nathan Haynes. And I'm Tanner Ackerman. Uh, guys, I gotta tell you, I am feeling just rejuvenated right now. Oh, you, you, what's you uh, your lawn? What's yeah. well, actually, okay, yes. Uh, full disclosure, I did just get done mowing my lawn, but Ooh, and that's it right that there. Is, you probably that's got not a it. lot of sun and week two of lawn side heroes. Here we go. <laughs> um, no, what actually I'm feeling so rejuvenated from is uh, last night I got my first ever pedicure. Pedicure is the foot one, right? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Peta, Petty pediatrics. Yes, good call. I got my first ever pedicure last night, Kelsey was like, hey, you want to go get a pedicure? I'm buying. And I was like, well, shit, I'll do anything for free. <laughs> so um, we went to the local um, high-end pedicure place that's at a mall, which I don't think mall ones are high-end. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go on. So the second we uh, we get there, though, Kelsey naturally um, says, hey, we want two pedicures. Also, where's your bathroom? I'm going to fucking bail on Tanner right now asap so she does that and i don't i literally don't know what to do because it's not like we had like gotten seated somewhere or anything yet kelsey just said we need two pedicures walked away and i i don't know if it's gonna come across bad but like the person who was like running the counter literally just didn't speak english so they were like pointing and saying things and i think i sat in the wrong spot at first and eventually i found a chair and then I actually, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I texted you guys immediately and I said, yes. help. I'm uh, like a <laughs> child left alone at the mall, which was. a Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. Oh, I just right, thought you were right. left alone at the mall. Uh, I called the police. <laughs> After that point, though, Kelsey ended up showing back up and I figured out. Oh, OK. Where to sit? It was actually. That's good. I would. If you so guys you... have never gotten a pedicure, I would highly recommend it. Like. Oh. This is like a nice little massage chair that you get to control the whole time. And it's like a massage for your feet. And also, like, I didn't realize, but my feet were disgusting. Like, how they look now is incredible. And, like, the amount of time they took, like, picking at stuff on my toenails and stuff made me a little ashamed. Now I'm kind of, like, reaching down to my feet. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty gross. I'm not I sure I want be... to feel shame is the thing. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to risk that. I, yeah. It's worth it in that, though. Trust me. Like, your feet feel amazing. Your skin feels like, I don't know, it sounds weird to say it, but it feels like baby skin. Like, I didn't mm. recognize my feet. It was insane. And and then it's I got sushi big, afterwards. It was ba- a great day. Two big babies out down there. I was going to ask, uh, like, did, did the, um, the person make a, a face at all when, when you revealed your, your <laughs> mighty feet? Yeah, a little. <laughs> I'm going to get honest with myself. <laughs> <laughs> did they spend a lot of time like 20 feet away from you in a group like kind of pointing and shaking their heads like no i i, I no, not me please anybody anybody else and then the they did that thing where they're they're trying to like grind away at your feet and then they have to get out the 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 sanding the electric sander or something like that get the welder's mask out yeah and you know, that, that another whole person montage. has to come over ah, and help it's not push. Working. yeah and that broke also so they had to get a second oh, one. Of course. <laughs> and then they look at you and they're just like shaking their head and you just kind of shrug <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's me yeah like it's I, this is serious like i think it took like twice as long as what it took kelsey's feet to get done so well she's got smaller I feet think, probably i haven't seen kelsey's feet true. but she, I has, she has very small feet but hey you I got those big old babies down there probably i mean well yeah i mean i i cut my toenails does that count well here's the thing like i was like oh they're not gonna do that much because i had trimmed my toenails like two days before Cause you know, you do that sometimes and <laughs> no, they did so much work. Well, I mean, I got some calluses down there. Could probably use some work. I've got these, these like hobbit feet, you know? Yeah. They, they will scrub those right off and it tickles quite a bit. At least it did for me. And I kept giggling. Wait, is <laughs> like the hair on your feet gone? No, they didn't do that. It was like oh, the okay. low bottom part of my feet. Gotcha. But, yeah. It was like, I would, I would occasionally jerk my feet away on accident out of in, like, you know, <laughs> Kick them right in the face. It was, it was embarrassing, but worth it. All right, hey Nate, what are you doing uh this weekend? Uh, well, wait, do you want, do you want me to actually just answer go go along with a bit? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, uh, uh, getting a probably gonna go get a pedicure with my my bud Drew, huh? Oh, okay. I want to know if you want to get ice cream, but yeah, that sounds good. Oh, well, actually, I mean... sushi would be great. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> sushi, ice cream, then patties. Kind of, do they have apps, Tanner? Like, what's the app situation? Wine? There? They have wine. Uh, I don't 
think they did. I know some will. Uh, they had sure very hot stones that they put on my shins. What? How? Ooh. I mean, like, they held them up on my shins. Oh, I thought you were like, maybe your feet were straight out or something, and they just kind of balanced them there. No, that... Maybe make a little, like, tower of them? That would sound like torture, I would feel like. Yeah, and then they put a... They started dripping water on your face, too. Yeah, <laughs> actually, now that you say that, they kept asking me about the location of something. I couldn't remember what. <laughs> The numbers, the I numbers, know, the, code? the numbers, what they mean. Where, are, where are the the missiles? Yeah, but Tanner, where are the missiles? I haven't. Tr- I, I swear, I can't remember. <laughs> nice try, Nate. God damn! One of these times, I'll <laughs> you get you. Give me one of these times. <laughs> Nate just takes, uh, puts on a mask, and it's uh, he's the he was the pedicure. <laughs> lady. Damn it! Come back again. Or he takes off his mask, and he was the pedicure lady all along. Oh, so the pedicure lady. Became friends Which with you in college me. to get to me. <laughs> it's been it's been a long time coming, but it's almost paid off. Nate just played all his cards. Yeah, out, it just so, fell apart uh, around you, Nate. <laughs> wow, yeah, I really misplayed that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, darn all this planning. I guess well, now I just fun. have to be a legitimate pedicurist. So, <laughs> goofs aside, I would actually like to get a pedicure sometime. I just don't want to go there alone. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Huh? All right. We, we'll get a Headline Heroes pedicure sometime. <laughs> yeah, Tanner, next time you come up, we'll all, we'll make an appointment. We'll all go get one okay. together. And we're going to get wings, too. Yep. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, Absolutely. you got to balance out. Like, I'm going to feel super embarrassed getting a pedicure, so I just got to then destroy my body <laughs> with wings afterwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I forget what my I forget what, feel, what my sense of self feels like. <laughs> I'll be so dissociated from my embarrassment because I'll feel like... But your feet will More be your totem, though. Like, you look at your feet and you're just like, oh, yes, that's it. Nathan. Nathan. <gasps> my name is Nathan. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a day. I have to know where the missiles are. <laughs> His missiles. Well, that's fun. Hey, uh, Nate. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, why What's don't up? you Why don't you tell uh, me and Tanner what we do, what we do here? Well, yeah. Oh, that well, too. oh, what we do here. Oh, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um. So, Drew, as you know, every week you, Tanner, and I get together here and we grab some strange and bizarre headlines from around the internet. We throw them together in a list and we pick one at random and use that for the origin story of a superhero or a supervillain. Tanner, what are we making this week? Uh, This week we are doing a superhero because last week we made the supervillain Wonder Thunder who had the, the, like, uh... Ability to manifest farts and, like, control them like a Green Lantern style. And yeah. he also had a, a fart buddy named Manafartation, which was very good. Um, so, yeah, this week we're doing a hero. And the headline that I've already picked at random uh, is number five for you guys. And that headline is, man uses live alligator for his baby's gender reveal party. Hmm. 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 Comes to us from Huffington Post, those old... Those ancient friends of ours. They're the best. All right. Uh, I should probably actually click it, huh? No. Why would you fucking do this? <laughs> I know. Why would you have a gender reveal party? I know. I know. I'm so Just announce it already. It's 2018. I like when I have a gender reveal party, but then when people get there, I'm just like, uh, it's a boy. And then just, <laughs> okay, you all can leave now. <laughs> That'll be twenty dollars. <laughs> People are just so excited. We brought gifts. Oh, thank you. It's a boy. No. Okay. Go. Thank you for the gifts. Please leave. Well, should we stay? Imp- no, there's no snacks. Please leave. No. I ate them all. There's an alligator can though. <laughs> can I use the bathroom? You mentioned <laughs> that's where the alligators are. <laughs> that's where I keep the alligator. I mean, of the places in of the rooms in your house, that'd probably be the place you keep your alligator. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. You could just abandon a whole floor to the alligator. All right, so man uses live alligator for his baby's gender reveal party. So could be the man, could be the alligator, could be the baby. Could be the gender. It it could be the gender. I don't know if this will help us at all, Yeah. but I did read this one part of it. I don't know if this will help or do anything, but uh, <laughs> we have a few gators who like to eat fruit. So I figured fruit was great. Let's get a watermelon, drill a hole in it, add some jello to it. And throw it in the gator's mouth. Let her bust it open. No big deal, you know? And what better way to do it than having an alligator that's 61 years old that my grandfather hatched in 1957? Oh, my God. I don't know what the age specifically has to do with that. What better way? I mean, you could have left that part out and just said his grandfather hatched it. Sally's not just a gator. She's not just a pet. She's a part of our family. I'm beginning to think that this this grandfather literally hatched this egg. Sally's also a 
movie star. So what? Yeah, she's appeared in commercials and the TV show American Horror Story. Don't know if you've heard of that. Well, that's a TV show, not a movie. And recently filmed a scene for the upcoming movie Louisiana mm. Caviar. So mm. that's oof, Louisiana Caviar. That's probably oof. That's going to be going up against Solo. So Solo, oof, Avengers, sorry Solo. Deadpool doesn't really stand a chance here against Louisiana caviar. Oof. Hmm. I guess uh, Solo is going to be flying this one um, alone. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> All by itself. Yeah. yeah. It'll be the only one. There. <laughs> there is only one. And it is. Okay. That's it. Yeah. All right. So what do we what do we think? Does anyone have any things that hit them right away with this article? Did the grandfather lay an egg? I don't know. That's weird. We could interpret it that <laughs> That's way. That's weird. Is it? Is it weird? Well, what, what's weird about that? Part of me wants to... <laughs> nothing. Nothing is weird with that. Um, part of me wants to do the baby somehow because I I think that'd be fun. We've had a streak. I feel of animals. So maybe the well alligator the has man. the baby in its mouth, and that's the reveal. Party is revealing the baby inside the alligator. <laughs> Oh my god. It just vomits <laughs> up the baby. We put the baby in there before. <laughs> As you can see, it was a girl. It's dead. <laughs> oh. Or is there a combination baby alligator? Alligator baby riding alligator. And then what? Um, and she's kind of like an alligator cowgirl kind of thing. Have we done like cow yeah, we've done cowboy. We've literally done cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah, we did do that. <laughs> But he he wasn't a cow cowboy. He was he was not that. He way. was a boy cow. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he wore. I don't know. He wore like a dead cow on his body. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking. But I think we can go weirder. Weirder. Yeah. What's this? What's a step weirder? Hmm. This is a hero, right? Yes. Is the baby inside the alligator riding it like, <laughs> um, like a fucking mech from Pacific Rim? What are they called? Gaggers. <laughs> Megazords. I think they're called Scott. They're called Rimmers. I think they're so called what? Rimmers. Oh, Rimmers! Is that oh, because Pacific Rim? Yeah. Is that is that a reference to something? No, no, I just think that's what they're called. Probably, if I had to name them. Oh, because of the Pacific Rim. Yeah. Spe- yeah. Specific Rim. <laughs> that specific specific rim? rim. Which rim is it? This one. I don't know specifically. Is this one right here? What ocean's it in? This this ocean. This specific one. <laughs> Is that the Pacific Knits the Atlantic? <laughs> not, not important. <laughs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a weird night. Um, so we could do so that. Is there like a world of animals that are like essentially mechs for babies? And there's this underground world of babies fighting inside mechs. Oh shit! It's like uh, Rumble Robots or Rock, something like that. Battle Battle Bots. Bots? Mm-hmm. Are you talking about yeah. steel? Wait, what's the movie with you, Jackman? Real, real steel. steel. Sock and boppers. Sock and oh, boppers. Sock and bopper. Burps. When sock and boppers are the the little inflatable things you hit each other with. Well, they're the- they're more fun than a pillow ah, fight. Damn, I'm <laughs> gonna see that. You blow them up and you put your hands inside and you then you get ready to have the time of your life. I think. Sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. Yeah. <laughs> so- sock and bop them robots. <laughs> sock and bop them robots. So that's what the league's called. <laughs> so, is this like a? Is this yes? More <laughs> is this fun like a than training a gun. in a world where real steel exists? Like now, like that sort of thing exists. Now they're training kids from the from the day they're born to be fighters. Oh, basically, shit. Oh, <laughs> you, shit. you bond with an animal from birth you and you grow with it, and it becomes your like fucking exoskeleton. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's like a real animal, but somehow is able to be a mech suit. Yeah, for this baby somehow it's like a yeah boy it's real How? real How? fleshy in there i guess uh, yeah because of the crystal <laughs> nah. mm-hmm. yes the crystal I mean, you're right uh-huh. but please go on you know uh the crystal that crashed into earth 50 years ago well that a wizard was living inside of and his dying <laughs> words were all animals will become <laughs> mech robots for babies to bond with when they grow up <laughs> We can't do dying wizard on again. We can't. Yeah, we did just do that, and then he hands out an enchilada and then dies. <laughs> and the baby farts real good. Oh, that's I maybe mean, it's just like advanced biotech that like the baby starts inside the alligator, and like the alligator's been genetically modified to slowly over time like start to begin to bond with the baby and grow ever larger. Genetically, so they're sort of like 
synth there's like these biological connections but they're like tech technological you know what i right. mean right and this is all because of the crystal yeah well because of the crystal yeah, yeah. all ca- capital letters yeah yeah spelled with with a k is it only alligators i think, I, it's, I think any, it's gotta be any. It's any whatever speaks yes. to you that is very fun so yeah be like a gorilla now this guy's called um the gator king is what the guy's yeah. called so like I wonder if like maybe there's like different families that have sort of like over time claimed different animals Ooh, and like that's oh, their that's specialty. Like there's so their their whole family is gators. Yeah, they are the ga- the gator clan. Out. Are they rivals with the crocodile I'm, clan? I'm gonna look up what the term for a group of gators is. Okay. A a, squ- a, a squ- uh, squ- It's a, a murder. A congr- <laughs> it's a it's a congregation. <laughs> What's well, hmm? That, there's some commentary on religion there. Somewhere. Yeah. So How they, I don't see it. they snap down on those communion wafers. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I like the idea. The the the, the they're the they're the clan the Gator Clan congregation, something like that. The gator congregation. Maybe and they are super this... religious. It's like nut job, like priests, like they're always quoting Bible verses while they like fight or something. Oh, that's like ooh, a cult. That's weird. Yeah, it's creepy. Yeah, but that's weird enough to get. It's good. And so this baby, who I think Nate said was a girl, so that that's the gender reveal right there. Oh, there she, there she is. Is uh, part of this family and is is the youngest of this family. So now has inherited the gator. So wait, does the gator grow up with you? So can like the the parents? Do they have their own gators? Oh, good point. Probably because yeah. like, is there one champion per? group so only one person it's like a black panther animal. or something but like then it's like well maybe does this does the you know do they take the gator away at some point then or does she just grow out of it because that's kind of sad and plus like we want her to you know keep being a hero maybe or like maybe, the parents are just retired and their gators retired too could be are they are they bad people is this a classic like fam the family's bad and she breaks out of the family and now the family's kind of the enemies now oh maybe i didn't think about that i forgot we were making a hero yeah don't yeah because i kind of did say we should make him like a weird cult but maybe we don't have to do that just the word congregation got me thinking about that we yeah we don't really have to flesh out her family as much as she was she she is in the fighting pits basically yes does she become like a hero in the pits and like rallies all the people like we don't have to we don't have to fight oh yeah that's a good idea i'm spartacus yeah yeah that's spartacus right there fuck him <laughs> that up <is> spartacus <laughs> wait is spartacus like the nerdy kid that they beat up on <laughs> <laughs> no everyone's just a lot more selfish in this world and they don't want to yeah okay like like hell i'm gonna risk myself no that's spartacus i like the idea of a, a champion like sort of trying to disrupt the system there's, those movies are very hot right now, so maybe if we sort of go that direction, we can get it. We can get a movie deal. Yes. Yeah. So there's like a regime at top, and like they uh, created the like fighting pits to basically keep everyone down without them realizing it. Uh, oh. Keep them busy. And it could be maybe this is if it's a government run thing. What if um, having the children fight is a way to keep the parents like? uh god what's i can't think like they basically we have your child so you um you don't do anything stupid keep them compliant they're holding oh. them hostage no, yeah, I, I have a question there we go. yeah I, I genuinely don't remember uh is this sort of what happens in, i mean i know there's like tributes and, and people volunteer and stuff in uh hunter hunger games but is that the is that happening hunger games too or um yeah, kind of i mean it's not like they're t- I don't it's not every child that's being taken, obviously. And it's not like they're hostage. No, really. no. Well, they okay, never kind mind. of I think are. I get, I get your meaning. I just wanted, I, I couldn't, I just honestly couldn't remember. I'm trying to think. There's yeah, like I, an actual historical precedent of this, like, uh, or maybe I'm thinking of another book. I don't know. Didn't Napoleon um, capture children and force them inside of animals to fight for? That's for you know, that's glory? what I'm thinking of. That was it. Napoleon the ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Ice cream. Sorry, while they were eating ice cream? Yeah. And getting pedicures. Yeah. <laughs> Man, now I have a visual of an alligator in like a pedicure chair and it's and he's just very happy getting his nails painted. He's loving Aww. it. It's very cute. So that's uh that's that. Is there any abilities? I should how big is she? Like we've sort of gone from Jaeger to I mean, is the how big do they get? <sighs> like, I mean, what if they 
usually they take away the mechs from from the kids after a certain age but what if somehow she breaks free and is able to keep her mech so the mech keeps growing oh man with her it was not intended to be this big yeah but no one's ever done this before and now she keeps the mech and it grows that. to be to fit a hu- uh, uh, an adult that'd be huge oh that'd be awesome but like i mean i i've seen lake placid alligators can get that big you know yeah that was a documentary i'm mm-hmm. pretty sure yeah it ate that bear Whew. what lake placid you of all people have to have seen lake placid i don't even know what this is are you kidding me i'm dead serious it's kind of a horror movie. Uh, it's, it's I mean, would you consider like a monster movie? Would you consider like Jaws a... kind of a horror movie? I don't know. Yeah, Jaws is. I, I would consider. Yeah, it. I then it I'd say weekend. Lake Placid is. It's like about a lake that has this giant alligator in it that's just eating everything. Hang on. Oh, I've seen it. Oh. <laughs> How do you forget? Like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a lot of films, Drew. This one sticks out though. This one, yeah, it, it was sticks out most as it grossed fifty six million worldwide, um, and was followed by a series of made for television films. That's what I remember wow. most. So wait, there were other ones, or what? were they titled? Uh, let me tell you here that we got Lake Placid two, Lake Placid three, Lake Placid oh. final chapter, Lake Placid versus mm-hmm. Anaconda, Lake Placid legacy. Okay, so not really the final chapter. So no. wait, no, just, when they say Lake, Lake Placid versus Giant Anaconda, is the lake fighting? Uh, well, I guess I have to look now. I think I think that's got to be it. It's not like the alligator is named Lake Placid. Um, actually, Lake Placid was the, was the monster, not the lake. And it's like, it's like Frankenstein. Also, on the final chapter thing, that's the thing you always do on the fourth movie. It's like uh, Friday the Thirteenth, the final chapter. It's never actually the final chapter. It was a sci-fi oh, film. Uh, based off the picture, the anaconda is actually a woman because it's a giant alligator biting into a woman. So huh, that's weird. Um, yes, to answer your question, Drew. Huh. All right. Hmm. I was given four point five out of five stars. Good flick. Good flick. Good flick. Apparently, <laughs> that's that's actually the most applicable use of that word that we've ever that phrase that we've done. <laughs> good flick. I guess. I'm gonna yeah. binge these movies sometime. Oh, sounds awesome. All right. Yeah. So to answer that question, yeah, can get very big and can fit uh adult um grown grown woman in it. Okay, so is it just her that escapes, or does she break out a lot of people with her, or does she come back and free them? Uh, I think maybe it's just her, and then she then her mission now is to break other, liberate all of them, and she becomes kind of like the the mother figure of all these children, or something like that. And now she has an army. Yeah, I can see that. I'm trying to think of other animals that would be good for mechs: uh, turkey, um, house <laughs> cat, Canadian goose, Canadian goose, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anteater oh that'd awesome. be terrifying awesome. yeah. yeah the honey badger get that in there bumblebees bumblebees <laughs> the big honestly, bumblebees but worth it. yeah uh, bunny rabbits mm-hmm. um, the first robin you see at the beginning of spring sunflowers um, sunflowers yeah the last robin you see at the end of the year yeah. uh, beanie babies <laughs> um and those are worth the, a lot of money the virtual boy oh Ooh, good pick <laughs> good pick so i think we're good all right so that's that's the lineup <laughs> um does is do they just work like animals is there, is there are there's like are they are there lasers or are they <laughs> are there lasers guys <laughs> guys are there lasers i need uh, lasers need to know lasers just one laser and it comes out at the place you would not expect or mm. you would expect yeah, I, I can't. I can't judge. Make it. Yeah, it's only out of the anteater. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anteater. It's got to come out of the nose, right? Because it's got that long snoot. <laughs> Isn't that its tongue? Snoot. Dog. It's a laser too. <laughs> it's. A <do> Sorry. <laughs> it's got snoot, and out out the snoot comes the laser. laser out tongue. the snoot. All right. Pew. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't even Pew-pew. really hurt. It's kind of oh. It makes you kind of feel weird. You feel weird about it afterwards. Like you don't really know how much is laser and how much is the tongue. So like it's that sort of uh, not knowing and that eats away. At and you. that's when the anteater pounces. <laughs> yeah, it really waits for that moment of doubt Confusion. and then it tears into you. Yeah. So is it really just an animal fight, or does each animal have their own specific like unique talent? I think they got. Yeah. It. I think we got to figure out something for these alligator. What can alligator do? Uh, bite real good. It's got a Ooh, got hydraulic hydraulic uh, mouth or something. Jaw. Yeah. 
And do the that are, really do alligators do death rolls or are those crocodiles? You, the part where they those clamp down and just start I... thrashing around and around. Death roll. I think those are crocodiles. Maybe it's an alligator. Frankly, <laughs> I don't remember the difference. Uh, I think they both do actually. Alligators definitely do though. Yeah, they'll bite something. Shit, I hate them. And they'll spin around in the water to kill it. Yeah. And if they spin enough, they sometimes take off into the sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and, okay. So hydraulic press jaws, and they do that, but it's like mechanical almost. Anteater's got the tongue tongue laser. Yes. Good good lick. It's a good lick. Good lick. Bumblebee's got that really good stare. Yeah. Now is it? So it's a giant bumblebee that holds a baby, right? Yeah, I mean it's 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 been genetically Jesus, modified to terrifying. be super huge. It's the crystal, yeah. The crystal did it, yeah. really, when you think about so, it. So uh, the turkey there... feathers are all razor sharp, right? Oh yeah, can oh, it shoot yeah, a few, like, like flick its wings, and man, my money's probably on turkey. Yeah, turkey's actually pretty good. What about Virtual Boy? <laughs> virtual Boy will just make you bleed from your eyes. Well, that sounds pretty good. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, Canadian geese. That's that's yeah, the one. Fuck those geese. I don't have we talked about Canadian geese on on this show yet. I don't know. <laughs> no, but I don't like They're them. A-holes. Yeah. Oh, Nate, I'm I was going to tell you this on my on my commute home today. Fucking geese in the middle of the road. How many did and you run over? Literally, ugh, I couldn't do it. I just needed to get home, but um <laughs> you coward. Yeah, fucking coward. Yeah, they they suck. Uh Nate and I were out running the other day and um we rounded a corner and Nate's head was down or something. And I look ahead and there, there are the mighty geese. And I like grab Nate by the shoulder and start frantically patting him. Like, I was genuinely afraid. Of <laughs> to do I was this. Just like, what I do we like, do? What? <laughs> what do we do? And he's just like, we could maybe go around. Oh no, we should definitely not go near them. They have babies with them. Yeah. They get all mad. So yeah. then Nate made me run another like <sighs> mile to go around them. <sighs> I, it was it was not a small distance I made you run yeah. to escape these things. <laughs> and like we literally did one big loop. So we we went like probably half a mile to get around to be able feet. to go 10 feet yeah. on the path we wanted to go just so we didn't have to run. And they were still there. They were still there. Yeah. I saw them the next day. It was, it was insane. Also, they uh, they get poop all on me and I hate it. All, and all over the path. I fell and got. I talked about this a couple of episodes ago. <laughs> That's right. I thought you meant recently. I just not not good I'll, times with geese. Geese suck. They do. They're the worst. They're the worst. Do you have any fun goose story, Tanner? Yeah, actually, where I work, there's a pond, and like you know, you like to walk around it when you have a break or something. And there are geese around it that will just like attack people and harass them as they're walking around. And most people like are staring at their phones while they're doing it. So it's kind of funny <laughs> to watch from a distance, but they jump really bad and like essentially run away from these geese. <laughs> territorial yeah, well, like, basically you know they're protecting their babies i've heard it said that the most direct descendant of um the velociraptor definitely those geese yeah i think that's that's on record yeah so my money's on the geese what's the geese special power um the honk. just being a real ass yeah it's <laughs> just aggressive super heightened aggression and their and, necks um, a whip yes <laughs> that's, that's not amazing. even a mechanical thing it just <laughs> <laughs> so that is very good I don't remember Money's what else animal we said. Uh, the robin. It's possible for animals to get big. Were, were animals made small to better accommodate and make it more fair? Like, is there just a little elephant in there? <laughs> yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, the, the the mighty water buffalo. The water buffalo's big? No, it's They're a little smaller now. Or are they big? Maybe it's just baby-sized. Every There's just big vi- baby victims all around in this one. Oh, damn. I would not fuck with a water buffalo. Yeah, they suck Holy. as well. I think the only thing that can... I, I've heard it said on an, uh, Animal Planet, um, the only thing that can go toe-to-toe with that thing is a Canadian goose. That would make sense. Yeah. Man, they're monsters. Yeah, a small one of those would still mess someone up. So what, I guess, what happens? Does she just break out one day? Yes. I'm done. I'm done with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what happens? Some sort of personal tragedy that causes her to reevaluate the system. Her parents are killed in front of her, so she's just like, "Well, <laughs> what was their plan?" There's I like... don't know. I don't know what they did. <laughs> like, the only good. thing that was keeping her in chains, I suppose. Hey, check this they out. Killed... <laughs> <laughs> hey, nerd! <laughs> it was Spartacus. Damn killed it, your parents. Spartacus! Why? Spartacus finally got his revenge. Yeah, Spartacus is the bad guy here. Does she just wake up one day and it's just like this I don't have to be like this. Maybe um maybe like the prize you win for winning the tournament is like 
you you and your family get to like escape your life of poverty or whatever and move up to the next social rung or something. Mm. And then when she actually wins, she finds out that they're just lying and you just like, and, and, and so they, you just get killed because they want to cull the, uh, the most powerful people she, out there. She like catches them taking the previous winner like away mm-hmm. and he's, and that winner is very happy. And then she follows and then he the, the, they turn it in the family there's a reunion and then they turn into soylent green <laughs> and they serve the soylent to the humans the the, the babies oh my god they're eating humans and then the they, whole time? They, they slap the gerber baby on it and holy shit put it in those little jars it's pretty cute but it's actually human <laughs> and so she's like all right i'm gonna break out and wh- what does she do is it a she's in a coliseum or something how does she get out what what alligator skill can she utilize uh she just goes out through the ravine right next to them oh that was there the whole time (laughs) why did i do damn (laughs) no one will ever escape out that ravine you'd have to be some sort of i don't know alligator to oh no oh no (laughs) we don't have any fish in the coliseum we're fine (laughs) oh there goes the goose no Uh, goose can swim too Oh, the robin just flew out the top of the oh, column. We really we did a bad job. We really dinked this one. <laughs> oh, the water buffalo just walked out. <laughs> we left the door open. The door. We're really bad at this. <laughs> yeah, it turns out a lot of animals can swim too. <laughs> yeah. So, so that. Yep. So she gets out via ravine. She's the only one though, and then so she's living alone. She grows up and really, really gets bonded with the the alligator. Maybe the alligator isn't for it at first. Okay. But maybe is could it be a thing where the alligator is actually passed down? Like once you grow out of it, the alligator moves on whoever's next in your clan or whatever. It like shrinks back down to proper size. To yeah, start over like again. That. And so it's all it's known is I'm I'm fight I I I fight I me do best. But now it's now it's it's done. Yeah. No, 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 maybe, oh, so you're saying it wants to keep fighting wants to keep fighting so that's why there's maybe some like tension between them a lot of fights but where they're just like punching each other <laughs> maybe they're punching themselves yeah you know, the fight for control maybe maybe she gets ejected at one point and then it's alligator versus baby and <laughs> she's still a baby <laughs> but she's been in the fighting fits for a while now you know then why is she still a baby <laughs> wouldn't she like okay. not be a baby if she has she's two had enough uh, like thought process to be like, oh, this is wrong. I should leave. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's well. Look okay, at Tanner. What you're forgetting, and I'm forgetting, of course, being a dingus. Uh, the crystal oh, probably the made crystal. her. You know, the crystal so made her smart. So she's she's two in body, but like. 50 in mind. The know? crystal. So does she become like a folk legend then for a while? Like raiding. I don't know. Like the imperial like almost uh, like supply chains and maybe. She becomes a a, a night a scary story that you tell the children like oh yeah don't go out the the mad croc lady will get the you mad croc and so lady. then she, they they're trying to sow um, discord they want people to fear her so then do some ki- more kids escape and they try to seek out this person not even knowing if they actually exist um do do they escape or does she go and break some out I don't know but why would they go with her she brings them food ice cream or she shows them this is this is soylent green this is this is the winner (laughs) somehow she's able to prove it to them and then they follow her well she does she use the crystal maybe to help show them Mm. like like oh yeah she brings oh that's been her quest the past uh 15 years is to find Mm. the crystal crystal the crystal is trying to tell her the whole time and she takes the crystal and it's able to show the truth because that's obviously what the crystal can also do guys what's your favorite part about the crystal (sighs) My favorite part about the crystal is the the warm feeling it gives me that I'm I I, I will never be alone once not that the crystal's here you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, my I love I the like crystal. When you, oh sorry, you got to. My favorite thing is just the feeling of safety and security mm. it gives you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get that too. Yeah, Nate, what's, what's I, your... I like when you touch it and it feels like. There's a million voices inside your head screaming in agony for help uh, and wishing to die. And then you stop and you, you can't stop hearing it for weeks until you just want to die yourself. But that warm feeling. It's so warm right away, though. Yeah. Safety. I love the crystal. The crystal is love in a lot of ways. Love is you know? the crystal. Yeah. Yeah. 
So should we ask the crystal what the name is? I wish I wish the crystal would tell us, please. But uh, the crystal is silent. I think we're going to have to do this ourselves. So you already basically named her by calling her Big Croc Lady, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, that's that's uh, the scary monster uh, name that the <laughs> government tells the children. Yeah. So she's very. So we, what, what do we have as aspects? She's you got the crocodile. Yeah, croc. No, sorry, allega- yeah, oh, it's it's alligator. Yeah, alligator. Damn, alligator, and she's very large. <laughs> the alligator is huge. She 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 is large. The 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 girl. Well, her exoskeleton. Is okay, large, yeah, it's the a giant is to to fit. I mean, until they are yeah. separated, they are, in effect, one being just like we are all one being under the great crystal. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever licked the crystal? Yeah. My well, tongue uh, burned yes. off before I got it there. But Oh, yeah. that explains why you, you sound so funny. <laughs> yeah, now I just sort of like open my mouth and the crystal speaks for me. Uh, it's, it's a lot better. I've heard it said that. Do you feel just, are you just in- eternally full now? Or is it something? Is it? It's either eternally full, or food will never taste the same again. You will always be starving. It's one of those two. It's actually uh, weirdly, it's both at the same time. Wow. I am constantly in a feeling of limbo. A blessing and a curse. Thank you, Crystal. So wise. <laughs> so wise. Uh, but name alligator. Is her? Is that something? Is holy is, shit? Because she tears or what? Tor- Oh, oh, my alligator! Gal, galligator. 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 I like it, but I also hate it. Let's let's workshop. A, we'll, we'll, hold on. Let's take that. And we'll tuck it in our back pocket. Keep it safe and sound, and then we can come back to it if we if we feel like we should. What's like? What would be a fight pit name? Because that maybe that's what the she uses. Spaniard. Scrump. Scrump. <laughs> Scrump is very good. Scrump. Uh, yeah. Thurp. Yeah. Thurp is very good. <laughs> Scrump Thurp. Thurp Scrump. AKA the Spaniard. <laughs> that's the villain. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one who's that's the the fucking uh God. What was the guy in Gladiator? Spartacus. The Caesar no. character? Yeah, who is he? Uh, What's Joaquin his title? Phoenix. Jesus. Uh, the Spaniard. Yeah, it was <laughs> the, um, the other Spaniard. Thurp Scrump. Thurp Scrump. <laughs> I get a, a a visual in my mind of like a grizzled cowboy kind of guy, <laughs> like Sam Elliott or something. Yeah, he looks like a Thurp. Yeah, name Scrump. Yeah, it's me. Thurp, Thurp Scrump. Scrump. And I love these here pits. <laughs> the pit. I was born in the pit. I was raised in the pit, and now I own the pits. I okay, so the pit the boss pits. is Thurp Scrump, keeper of the crystal. Thurp Scrump. Keeper of the crystal. Okay, well, I mean yeah. that's in now. There's there's no going back. Yeah, but unfortunately we can't use it for her. Damn then. it! It was too perfect. <sighs> what is the Latin name for it? It's Gator. It's 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 a lot. It's a lot of letters that I don't want to. So I wish it was a boy so that we could name him Dylan so that we could because apparently here's the first couple words of the alligator article. An alligator is a crocodilian. In the genus alligator, so because then we could name her croc- crocodilian. Um, we could call her dooligator, like a, like a doula, like the people who help. Yeah, the like birthing. yeah, Rang- wrangle. Okay, so she comes in the pit, and they say, and now entering from the left, we have weighing in at probably like twelve. Th- 50 pounds. 1250 12 pounds. 12. Yeah. Um, the one, the only. Gator tater. Now, why the tater? Bro? Yeah, where's the potato element? Uh, Ow. That's. Um, she came from Potato Farm. Free for alligator. Free. Free, free for alligator. It's Al- alligator free my people. It's very dumb. Gr- grinning, grinning something. Maybe, maybe the, ooh, the focus ooh, is the, the mouth. Ooh. Yeah, the teeth. Or maybe the focus is the fact that she's got a mighty vice of a mouth. Yes. Lockjaw. Ooh. Lockjaw. 
I wouldn't mess with Lockjaw. He's already the already the name of I think like a weird dragon character in Marvel. It probably. Yeah. Enforcer. Uh. Cro- Ooh. What? Croc Crocjaw. Oh, you did it. I mean, she is an alligator. I mean, She's an al- alligator. okay. It's been actually. I did, was it an alligator? I thought it was a crocodile this whole time. No, it's an alligator. No, it's. You know what? Thinking back, I think it was actually crocodile, and no one should rewind. Now, and been talking about a crocodile this whole we, time. That, uh, when I looked it up earlier, yeah. alligator is part of the crocodilian family. This so is like, true. Here we go. It's croc is just fine. Croc jaw. Croc jaw is too good to give up. That is true. Yeah. And her name is Allie. And the gator's name is Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> he actually was the one who created Spencer's gifts. Oh, yeah. The national treasure. Oh, he's very old. Costume we don't really need to do. Kind of just looks like an alligator. Yeah, it looks like an alligator. But like on its hind legs. Yeah. Hey, hey Drew, I meant to ask you. Um, mm-hmm. When you had that visual of the alligator getting a pedicure... Yeah. Was it all four feet or were they like kind of sitting up like a human, wouldn't it? it was just no, the sitting up two. like a human, definitely. So it was just the bottom two? Yeah, bottom two. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. And then in the and the the hand equivalents of the, the the gator feet got a glass of wine. And a cell phone. Ooh. And a Yeah. Oh yeah, Tanner, real quick question. What did you do while they were doing? Did you look at your phone? Did you talk to Kelsey? Did you talk to the, what did you do the whole time? Uh I was on my phone for a little bit. I was scrolling through Reddit because there's, there's a whole story about um Brian Colangelo having like five burner Twitter accounts and like secretly bashing players on his team and stuff. What was going on? Holy shit, how did I not hear about that? So I had to had to look up that for a little bit and I talked to Kelsey for a bit. And then um Kelsey had a guy who was actually doing her toes and he started trying to talk to me about sports. But it was clear he didn't know much. He was just trying to hold conversation, so it was, it was a it was an uncomfortable conversation. You know, he also had his your girlfriend's feet in his hands, so that must have been yeah the most sensual of body parts. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh yeah, these feet are so yeah, and then he about like, the he, Lakers." He like licked her feet at one point while staring like right in my eyes. It was weird. This is how I clean them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wasn't gonna question his technique. Yeah, he's a professional. There's... Yeah, then he just like What's walked the... out and grabbed like the janitor cart and walked away. So, was... <laughs> 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 ah, tell me, uh, yeah, the the thunder, <laughs> right? And then he licked. <laughs> Yuck, yuckaroo. Um, but yeah, would would go again. <laughs> Glad. To... Well, cool. Uh, what's the comic book cover look like? I think it's probably um, the crystal is probably there. It's the crystal. Yeah, the crystal is always there. Thurp scrum. Hey, hey, Nate, hmm? take your finger and point it at your chest. I am doing so. That, that's where the crystal is. Oh, my God. Nate it's just starts to rip at his own chest. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I never didn't realize it was there, but now I know it hurts. <laughs> the crystal is here. It hurts so much, but it hurts so good. Very warm. Mm, that's the blood. <laughs> but also the crystal. Comic book cover. Uh. Her, her in the pits? Breaking out of the pits, <laughs> just her wallowing, like waddling through a a, a ravine. It's like... And in the background, you see Thurp. Damn it! What was his name? Scrump? Thurps Strumpf. Thurp Scrump, uh, with the crystal, like up on a pedestal, watching the fights. And then there's a Canadian goose just ripping into a virtual boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But then the focus is her as she is going through down the the ravine that no one thought. To even like guard then like the next issue's cover like there's a fence built around the ravine yeah they don't want anyone else they figured it out it's not a very good fence it's like the it's like the fence that held the rugrats in all they need is a screwdriver <laughs> like playpen i've never seen a playpen like the one in the rugrats i'm pretty sure it's very dangerous to have a playpen like that yeah also do people do that to kids anymore what wrangle them up and keep Put them like in there pen? i don't think i've, ever, I've seen that i i mean i've I, I I had one of those. Is that wrong? <laughs> Did you? I had a little like um baby pen and they would pen they would put me in there and have me play in there. That's kinda fun. <laughs> you remember this? <laughs> yeah, it's <was> like seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't man. know. I don't know anything about children, so Okay. Right. Are we done? I think so. Alright, so this was issue number uh fifty five of Headline Heroes. Today we created the superhero 
uh, Crockjaw or Allie, it's her street name, um, and her uh, alligator Spencer, mm-hmm. and the villain Thurp Scrump, who's the keeper of the crystal. Um, as always, at this time, we would like to thank Brett Jacobson for making the uh, art for the show. We really appreciate it. And Brett, fun fact about him, uh, doesn't believe alligators and crocodiles are different animals. Mm. So, yeah. No. On this one, I think I can agree with him. Hmm. I've never seen him in the same room, so I guess That's I, true. I can't disagree with him. I also want to take this time to thank Carl Sorensen. Carl made the uh, intro music and outro music that you'll hear for our podcast, and he helped with all of the sort of post-production in between. If you're interested in working with Carl on any sort of audio project, be it music composition or podcast uh, editing or anything like that, you can reach out to him at carljsorensen.com. If you have any articles you would like to see us discuss... Uh, send them our way. So many ways to do that. We have an email, headlineheroescast at gmail.com. We have a Twitter at headline underscore heroes. We have a Facebook group and we do have a subreddit, r headline heroes. If you want to get in touch with us, leave us a message somewhere, tell us, ask us questions, whatever. Uh, that voicemail, you can dial in and call us. Uh, it's 319 596 6766. So we'd really appreciate your call. Uh, if you're listening to us on any podcast listening device, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button. And finally, just, you know, tell a friend about us because word of mouth. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for listening to us and we hope you'll pick up the next issue of Headline Heroes. Headline Heroes.